Hi everyone, a warm welcome to the topic formation of partial differential equation. Partial differential equations are those equations which contain partial derivatives. Here our assumption is it's said as a function of x and y. That is, it's said equal to f of x, y. So we can differentiate it said partially with respect to x and y. So the corresponding first order partial derivatives are dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y. Also the second order partial derivatives are dou square z by dou x square, dou square z by dou y dou x. Also you have to notice that this is also equal to dou square z by dou x dou y. Also we have dou square z by dou y square. We adopt the notations p equal to dou z by dou x, q equal to dou z by dou y, r equal to dou square z by dou x square s equal to dou square z by dou y dou x. It's also same as dou square z by dou x dou y. t equal to dou square z by dou y square. Partial differential equations can be formed either by eliminating arbitrary constants or by eliminating arbitrary functions. In this video, I am going to illustrate how to make partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary functions. This method is illustrated through the following examples. Let me start. Let me find a partial differential equation from z equal to x plus y plus f of x y. Here z is given x plus y plus f of x y. So for getting the partial differential equation, first you differentiate with respect to x and y. That is, you find p and q. From p and q, if we can find a partial differential equation, that's the equation. If you can't find a partial differential equation from P and Q, you write R, S and P. That is P. P is dou z by dou x. P is 1 plus its derivative 0. That is its derivative is f dash x y into the derivative of x y with respect to x is y. So P is 1 plus y into f dash of x y. Next you write q. q is dou z by dou y. It is 1 plus f dash x y into derivative of x y with respect to y it is x. So q is 1 plus x into f dash x y. Okay, it is equation number 2. It is equation number 3. First you try to make a partial differential equation from equations 3, 2 and 3. If you, if you can't find a partial differential equation, you write R, S and D. Here, here the arbitrary function is F. See, Z is X plus Y plus F of X, Y. That is, Z is a function in X and Y and also in terms of an arbitrary function F. See, here we have to eliminate the arbitrary function F. See, here, here, F dash of X, Y, it depends on f of x, y. So, you have to remove any term which is related to f. So, we have to remove f dash. See, from equation number 2, we can write p minus 1 equal to y into f dash of x, y. And from 3, you can write q minus 1 is equal to x into f dash of x, y. Next, you think how we can remove f dash of x, y from these two equations. See, by dividing these two, we will get an equation which is free from f dash. That is p minus 1 by q minus 1 equal to y by x. Now f dash is eliminated. On cross multiplying, you can see p minus 1 into x is equal to y into q minus 1. That is px minus x is equal to q y minus y. So px minus q y is equal to x minus y is the is a partial differential equation from p d1 to z. You can uh, stop at here or you can stop at here. See the further simplification is not necessary. Anyway, the standard partial differential equation from z is px minus qy is equal to x minus y. Here p is always the small letter p. Next question. 
Form a partial differential equation plug in z equal to f of x squared plus y squared plus x plus y. Here z is a function of x and y, and again z contains an arbitrary function f. That will be equation number one. You find p. P is low z by low x. What is low z by low x? That is f dash x squared plus y squared into the derivative of x squared plus y squared with respect to x. That is 2x plus 1. So that is p. p is 2x into f dash x squared plus y squared plus 1. Next you find q. q is no x by no y. It is f dash x squared plus y squared into 2y plus 1. That is q is equal to 2y into f dash x squared plus y squared plus 1. See, this is equation number 2, this is equation number 3. Next, you try to eliminate f dash from 2 and 3. Then you will get a partial differential equation. As in the previous question, here we can write p minus 1 equal to 2x into f dash x squared plus y squared. Similarly, from equation 3, you can write q minus 1 equal to 2y into f dash x squared plus y squared. Next, you divide those two equations. You can see this p minus 1 by q minus 1 equal to x by y. This implies p minus 1 into y is equal to q minus 1 into x. Next, the simplification is not necessary. If you can, you do it. That is py minus y is equal to qx minus x, which implies py minus qx equal to y minus x. See, this is a partial differential equation from the given z by eliminating the arbitrary function. Next, we have to form a partial differential equation from z equal to f of y by x. See, it's a very simple question. See, z is in terms of an arbitrary function f and the variables x and y. That would be equation number one. See, in all these types of questions, you first find p and q, then try to eliminate the arbitrary function. If it is not possible, then you find r, s, p. Then you try to eliminate the arbitrary function from these five partial equations. You will definitely get a partial differential equation. Here, what is p? That is dou x by dou x, that is f dash y by x. See, this is chain rule of partial differentiation. f dash y by x into, you multiply the derivative of y by x with respect to x. See, y by x. See, we have to write the derivative of this with respect to x. Why differentiating with respect to x, you have to keep y as a constant. So, y is the derivative of 1 by x. And it is y into minus 1 by x squared. So into minus y by x squared. That is p is minus y f dash y by x by x squared. Next to q. q is f dash y by x into derivative of y by x with respect to y. Then 1 by x is a constant, derivative of y is 1. So you can see this 1 by x. That is q is equal to f dash y by x by x. As in the previous questions, you divide equation 2 by 3. That is, you take 2 by 3, which implies p by q is equal to p by q is equal to that is minus y into f dash y by x by x square into you multiply this by reversing. That is x by f dash y by x. You can see this will cancel. 1x will cancel. It is minus y by x. That is p by q equal to minus y by x. On cross multiplication you can see px equal to minus qy. That is px plus qy equal to 0. Next question is, form a differential equation from z equal to f of x, y by dh. You consider it as equation number 1. You have to find p. p is no z by no x. 
that is f dash x y y dash. Next, you have to multiply the partial derivative of x y by z with respect to z. See, our assumption is z is a function of x and y. z is a function of x and y. That means here z is the dependent variable and x and y are the independent variable. And its derivative is, see, it's a quotient. See, here we are differentiating with respect to x, so you can take y as a common, as a constant r. Here we have to keep y as a constant. So you take y outside, you have to write only the derivative of x by z. See, it's a quotient, there you have to apply quotient rule. Is that square? Is that into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 minus x into derivative of is that with respect to x. It is no z by no x. Here, is that is the dependent variable. It depends on x and y. So, is that contains x and y. So, don't consider is that as a constant. Next step. Uh, its derivative with respect to x is no z by no x. And its derivative with respect to y is no z by no x. That's why its derivative is like this. So y into z minus, what is no z by no x? It is p. px by z squared. See, this is its derivative. So this into y into z minus px by z squared. See, this is our p. So p is, p is f dash y by z into y into z minus px by z squared. Similarly, we have to find q. q is f dash x y by z into derivative of x y y by z with respect to x. So, you can consider x as a constant. Next, you write the derivative of y by z. y by z, its derivative z squared upon z into 1 minus y into do z by do y. Here we wrote the derivative of y by z. If you have any confusion, see derivative of y by z with respect to y. See it's a quotient z squared upon z into derivative of y with respect to y it is 1 minus numerator into derivative of z with respect to y it is do z by do y. See? That's equal to f dash x y y z into x into z minus it is q q y y z squared. Now we have p and q. By considering 1 by 2, you can see it is p by q is equal to then this f dash will cancel. It is y into z minus px by z square. See, this f dash, this f dash will cancel. Here the term is y into z minus px by z square. Next you multiply its reciprocal. That is z square by x into z minus q y. The z square will cancel. You cross multiply. You can see this. Or uh, before cross multiplying, you can see this p by q is equal to y into z minus px by x into z minus qy. Again, you can simplify that is px into z minus qy is equal to qy into z minus px. Everywhere you have to keep p as the small letter. That is p x z minus p q x y is equal to q y z minus p q x y. This will cancel and it is p x minus q y into z equal to 0. See this is the square partial differential equation from the given set. See uh, the difficulty here is finding p and q. Here we have to apply the chain rule of partial differentiation and again you have to apply quotient rule of partial differentiation. By practicing such questions, you can easily answer these questions. See, comparatively this is one of the most difficult questions and the previous questions are so simple while comparing this equation. So you practice that. Next we have another interesting question. 
you form a partial differential equation from this is equal to f of x plus e raised to y e to g of x. See here, this set is a function of x and y. And again, this set, you can see two arbitrary functions. In all the previous questions, this set contains only one arbitrary function. Here, you can see two arbitrary functions. So, in the partial differential equation, uh, there should not be any f, g, or its derivatives. So, we have to make a partial differential equation by eliminating both arbitrary functions. See here also you find p that is dou z by dou x. See it is a function of x along, so its derivative is f dash x into derivative of x which is 1. So, the derivative of this term is f dash x plus. Here is y is a constant. That is its derivative it is g dash x into 1 that is g dash x. See this is our p. Next to q. 2 is dou z by dou y. Here there is no y. So, the derivative of this term is 0. See here, gx is a constant. And the derivative of e raised to y is e raised to y itself. See, this is our p equation number 2 and it is equation number 3. Next, we are trying to find an equation which is independent of the arbitrary functions. You try it. You can see, you can't find a partial differential equation from 2 and 3. Or you, or you can also use equation number 1. But you can't find uh, in the case of two arbitrary functions, in most of the problems, you can't find a partial differential equation from both P and Q. See, in these types of questions, we need uh, R, S, P. Sometimes R alone or S alone or P alone, like that. See, by looking into Q, if you again differentiate Q, see, really Q is no reason by no y. If you differentiate dou z by dou y with respect to y, dou z by dou y with respect to y, that is our dou square z by dou y square. What is that? You differentiate again with respect to y, gx is a constant and the derivative of e raised to y is e raised to y itself. So in our notation, this is our t. So we have t is equal to gx into e raised to y. Our aim is to Eliminate the arbitrary functions. By looking into 3 and 4, you can eliminate. In 3 and 4, you can see only gx. See, from the question, uh, you make a partial differential equation which is free from the arbitrary functions. By looking into 3 and 4, you can easily find the partial differential equation. Have you got it? See, q is equal to, what is gx series to y? It is t. So, q is equal to See, it is an equation containing partial derivatives. See, q and t are partial derivatives. Our partial derivatives are first and second order partial derivatives are p, q, r, s, and t. See, this is an equation containing partial derivatives and it is free from the arbitrary functions f and g. So, it is the required partial differential equation. If you can't find t directly, See here, we have equations 2 and 3. If you find t, then you can easily find a partial differential equation. If you have no such ideas, then you find R, S, T. Then, with the help of 2, 3, this R, S, T. By using these 5 partial derivatives, you try to form a partial differential equation. You try to form a partial differential equation by the elimination of the arbitrary functions. If here if you find R, S, T and then you try to eliminate the arbitrary function, then you can see the required equation is Q equal to T. Next, we have to form a partial differential equation from Z equal to F of X plus A T plus G of X minus A T. See here, F is a function of X and T. So, the first order partial derivatives are dou z by dou x and dou z by dou t. t is denoted by p, q. Here r is dou square z by dou x square. s is dou square z by dou y dou x. t is dou square, sorry, it is dou t by dou square z by dou t square. Here, instead of 
y to this p. Here are two arbitrary functions, x and g. First, you differentiate partially with respect to x. So, p, p is f dash x plus a g into 1 plus g dash x minus a g. Next to q, q is f dash x plus a g. Here, what is q? q is low z by dou t. We are differentiating with respect to t. So, its derivative is you multiply the derivative of x plus a t by t, that is a minus. So here, here similarly you can see it is uh, here you can see it is g dash x minus a t into minus a, that is q. Next, you try to eliminate f and g from p and q. You try, then you can see it is not possible. So we have to find r s. What is R? R is dou square is that by dou x square. You differentiate to again with respect to x. It is f2 dash x plus a t into derivative of x plus a t which is 1. That's why it's the derivative of that term is f2 dash x plus a t. Plus similarly you can see it is g dash x minus a t. That is 4. Next you write. Yes sir. Really what it says? It is dou square is that by dou t dou x. For getting S, you differentiate P with respect to T. P with respect to T, that is F2 dash X plus A T into A. Here its derivative is G2 dash X minus A T into minus A. Next you find T. T is no square is that by no T square. You look into Q and you differentiate Q again with respect to T. It is a into f2 dash x plus a t into a, that is a square, minus a into g2 dash x minus a t into minus a. By looking into these six equations, you try to eliminate the arbitrary functions. See, the easiest way is you will look into equation 4. By looking into equations 4 and 6, what is 6? Uh, 6 implies t is equal to take a square outside f2 dash x plus a t plus g2 dash x minus a t. By 4, what is f2 dash plus g2 dash? It is r. So a square r. Now we have t is equal to a square r. See, this is the required partial function equation. See, it is an equation containing the partial derivatives and free from the arbitrary functions f and g. So, we can conclude that is the required partial differential equation. Next, we have to make a partial differential equation from x is equal to y into f of x plus x is equal to f of x. See, this equation number 1. That is p. p is y of dash x plus g y. What is q? f x plus x g dash y. See, so since there are two arbitrary functions, you find R, S, T. What is R? For getting R, you differentiate P with respect to X, that is Y, F2 dash X. For getting S, you differentiate P with respect to Y, that is F dash X plus G dash Y. For getting T, you differentiate Q partially with respect to Y, X, G2 dash X. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, you try to make an equation which is free from the arbitrary functions f and g from these six equations. You try. Here, I think you can see the equation number 5. If you substitute f dash x from equation 2 and g dash y from 3, then f and g will be eliminated. So from 2, what is f dash x? It is p minus g of y by y. From 3, what is g dash y? It is q minus f of x by x. You put these values in 5. So s equal to put in 5. s equal to 
minus g y by y plus q minus f x by x. So take x y l c m. So x into p minus g of y plus y into q minus f of x. That is p x minus x into g of y plus q y minus y into f of x by x y. That is See, here again the arbitrary functions g and f appear. So, we have to remove that g and f. So, px plus q1, you combine these two terms, minus of x g of y plus y f of x by x. We have to remove this term. See, p1, it is, is such, x g y plus y f x is such. So, you can replace it by so it is px plus qy minus z by xy. See this is our yes. And here again it is that is s, s into xy is equal to px plus qy minus z. See this is the required partial differential equation. Or you can write it as px plus qy. Minus z minus x x y equal to zero. 